legally can make any decision. This is the one thing we really wanted. I don't know, I guess they don't want her on, but. Like she's actually working out. I might be making a big mistake by not doing this. I guess we'll see. We are getting ready to board the Disney Dream. We still need to go get ready. We just like literally rolled out of bed to come the continental breakfast that they have. So we're eating now. We're not gonna eat again until we get on the ship because they have this big old buffet. So excited. We board the cruise at 2 p.m., 2.15. The problem is that checkout time is at 11 out of this. We didn't really know what we were gonna do between 11 and two, and we're only like 15 minutes from the port. So we're still kind of trying that out. Nancy did call Hi, Nancy. <laughs> this morning all of us are distributed between three different rooms we got one of our rooms extended till 12 so that's helpful we can at least like go hang out there and like finish getting ready and whatnot probably get some work done between 12 and 2 we're still not really sure what's gonna go on we're just gonna have to figure that out it's not something that we took into consideration on this day like none of us thought what we we're gonna do between those days so we're just like Think about it, but we'll figure it out. All right, we went upstairs, we got ready. We're officially checked out of our hotel. We are going to head to the port. The thing is that we're gonna be early. We're gonna be so early. We're gonna be like two hours early. So don't worry really when all this is gonna go. They like specifically say not to get there early. So I'm gonna try to like stay out of their way. We still have stuff to do with our bags. We have to like put things in places and put our bag tags on everything and all everything like that. So we still have lots of stuff to do. We just don't really have anywhere to do it other than like in this lobby. Few things that I have in preparation for this. So obviously you guys know there's different custody situations with my family if you're new here. Hi, hello. I've got children with three different fathers and I actually did something a little bit differently this time and I'm hoping that it doesn't bite me in the butt. For the three boys, I have sole custody of them so I brought my court paperwork saying that I have sole custody of them that I can do whatever I need to do with them. I can take them anywhere. I can take them out of the country. Like I legally can make any decision and that's all I need for them. Normally for Lilia, I will have her dad fill out like a notarized letter saying that it's okay for me to take her out of the country because that's like typically what you need and the last two times we went on a cruise, they never asked for it. And I feel bad like sending him each time so I, don't, I didn't have him do that and I really hope it doesn't cause a problem if it does um, I could just call him you know if it, you know what I mean like I could just call him and worst case scenario I don't know I guess they don't look her on but I doubt that's gonna happen like I, I think I can just maybe call him I don't know I might be making a big mistake by not doing this I guess we'll see in addition to that I obviously have all the paperwork that you need to go the normal paperwork that you need to go on a cruise I have each of their passports I've got the port arrival forms I've got there's a lot of paperwork involved on doing a cruise I don't know if just like going out of the country in general no it's because I don't think it is that you don't need all that stuff for just going out of the country right just for the cruise they like have all the stuff to bring Addie <laughs> the girls have got their babies are you guys ready yeah. are you ready? Also, a basketball player. <gasps> that would be so epic oh look at the ship right there oh, you yes I think I got it I see the ship I don't it's see. so big <laughs> Landon has passed out from excitement. <laughs> I literally could cry right now. Like I actually could cry. Like all the stress of getting here, like this already is just. We just got through Disney security and they are so much nicer than TSA. Like they loved Addie's baby. If you missed our last video, Addie is a little traumatized from our experience with TSA yesterday. And so we pulled up to security here and she's like, no, this baby's staying with me. She like didn't want to put the baby down. She's so afraid. And they were so nice about it. They're like, don't worry, your baby's gonna end up right on the other side. I'm telling you the amount of trouble this baby has caused. She is part of, and now she's babysitting. Grammy's babysitting. <laughs> they were so nice about it, but we're gonna try to check in. We are early. I don't really say that too loud, but Kaden looks ready. Look at you with your sunglasses. You're just <laughs> you're texting your friends. You're going on a Disney cruise. They're gonna be jealous. Lilia looks the most official here, though. Look at her. We need to do a full outfit check. I'll do an outfit check in just a second. She's currently look at. She's even got. She looks like she works for the cruise. Disney Cruise Lines, man. You though. I, 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 don't mind I just can't. <laughs> 
It's a horn. Oh, I didn't. Well, hear it. I know you didn't hear it because you don't know what it sounds like. You know how like a horn, there's like horns on the ship. It's like. It's not like that on it. Doesn't hurt. Are you registered? Are you registered? Oh my gosh. Okay, put the bands on. Are you ready? We're checked in. We're checked in. Lily is putting, she has photography next semester for school. She's putting it to work, I see. Okay, work it. Wait, wait. Landon's getting his bands on, so every kid that boards the ship gets these cool little bands, like magic bands basically, but they're for the kids clubs and to do all the kids stuff. My goal of this cruise is to take the stairs any chance we get because we're gonna be eating like we're taking the stairs every chance we get. Bring on the music. Well, yeah, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Lily is the only one that's on my level. They sounded the horn, which is like, if you don't know, if you get on a Disney Cruise Line, instead of a normal horn, like it goes, I'm gonna insert it. It goes. And so Lily and I heard it, and we both got goosebumps and started freaking out. So they checked us in no problem. No one's even said anything. And they gave us a number that says we're boarding group 25. And they're boarding 24 right now. Guys, I'm 25. I think they just called us. Everyone's getting up and going. Now boarding all guests. That's us, guys. Let's go. Ah! Oh, my God. Look at my baby. Are y'all taking pictures? Yeah, we're going to. Okay. All right, y'all go straight ahead. The buffet on the ship is called Cabanas and it's open longer today than normally. He said normally it's open until 2, but today it is open until I think he said 3.30, 3 or 3.30. We're gonna get in here, we're gonna get some food in our belly. I'm not sure, oh, now I think we can check the schedule of everything. Yeah, I have a lot of work to do. On the Disney Dream. was literally the smoothest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Like, did they ask you anything? They didn't ask me anything at all. Like, what's up, fam? We're gonna go up to, to the sports check, and me and Kaden are gonna go because the other people are still eating. Well, Kaden is technically still eating, but he wanted to go. So he's chugging it right now. And we're all oh, right. It's very right. We're gonna go explore. We might play. Probably not, because we don't, because we don't have the proper stuff on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, aqua duck. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a spine right there. Hey, sport. Oh, I see basketball. Basketball. Yes. Yes. Basketball. Let's go. I'm gonna check go. This is the one thing we really wanted on, and it has it. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. It's pretty big too. How much balls are there, though? Ooh. What do we have here? By the way, like, look at this view. Like, you can't ignore it. Look at it. I can. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Look at the cities over there. Whew. 
Oh, there is some ping pong. Um, I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's golf. It's so much easier. Let's see. We're just going around the golf course. You destroy my sandcastle, hey? Eh? You guys know it's funny? You destroy my sandcastle, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll come back. I'll come back. Okay, ready, guys? You guys are going. Yeah. You guys are going in the cannon. <laughs> Let's see. Can we get a hole in one? You get, don't go in there, Katie. Hole in wood. And what is this supposed to be? Whack or something? Whatever it's called, whackable? Oh, There's a basketball court. Now, Hayden, Hayden, Cam. Go and search by daddy. I'm sorry, you guys, it's about lighting, but. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go You are here. 101. Oh, we're here. We need to be there. Okay, we were actually on the right side to begin with. So we just need to go across that way. Oh, look at this. Our luggage is already here. Disney's on point. Disney's fast. Come on in. Yeah, Hey. That's your own private bedroom. Oh, hey. Wait, baby. It's your room. Happy oh my gosh, you guys. We're good. Oh, it does work. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Our connecting room, guys. So you may be wondering, where is everyone sleeping in this little cabin? Let me show you. We've got one, two here. This pulls into a bed. This is a key. You pull this down, turns into a bunk bed. And then this pulls down into a fifth bed. Fourth. Fifth. Oh, well, fourth, but like fifth sleeping spot. One, two. Two people here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> These cabins do fit five people each, so we do need two different rooms. We're technically in a family stateroom deluxe, something like that. I'll write exactly what it's called here in case anyone wants to book it. So these staterooms sleep five. They have connecting rooms, which I really, really like. But one thing I really like about this is that they have separate bathrooms. So this one has a sink, a bathtub, oh my god, and a shower. That's cool. Thank you. And then in this one, there's a sink and a toilet. So that way, like, people can still be getting ready if someone has to do their business. The other thing that I like about Disney rooms in particular, I'm pretty sure sure this is like universal among all of their hotels, cruise lines, everything is that they specifically put a lot of space underneath your bed and what that's for is for your luggage to go under. So once you unpack it, these things can get out of the way because there's very limited space in staterooms in general. Like staterooms are typically small, but Dizzy's got you covered because you just you put it all underneath. underneath. Well, we, we would unpack everything first and then we put it in there. So we need to unpack. We also have a veranda. Look at our veranda. Oh, I can't wait to be sailing on this. Let's see. This is a veranda, a balcony. Oh, I love that these are high also. Oh my goodness. It's your card. Don't lose it. It looks like people are still boarding. Sailway party is in one hour. We still need to go to our muster station, which is where you go if there's an emergency. It's a mandatory thing on all cruise lines. So we need to go find our muster station and then we're going to be ready to sail away. Addy, Kaden, don't go too far ahead, please. We might be this way, guys. In the unlikely event of an actual emergency, you will hear this general alarm. Seven short blasts, followed by one long blast of the ship's whistle. Hello, Disney Dream! Woo! Amazing, like, I'm just asking, I got a question for you! Yeah. 
Oceaneer Club. On the first day only, parents are welcome to go tour the kids club area. So we are gonna go check it out, see what it's about. It's the only time that parents are really welcome in here. Look at these hand washing stations. They they wash your hands by itself. Do you see your hand? Look at the hand washing. <laughs> Whoa! That is iconic. they just highlight the same things, you know, like Elsa and like those things. Elsa was nowhere to be found, which was, you know, it was cool, honestly. It was a lot of like throwback stuff. So if you're a Disney fan, like holy macaroni, don't miss the Golden Mickey's. It was so good. Throwback tears, like all the things. It was a really, really good show. Disney Cruise Line is known for its incredible shows and like that, that did not disappoint. Enchanted Gardens tonight. There's a rotation here at the Disney, I don't think a lot of cruise lines but Disney Cruise Line, you eat at a different restaurant each night, and you have the same server and the same table number each night, which is really cool, so you get to build like a relationship with them. Anyway, we ate at Enchanted Garden tonight. We just finished, it's 10.30, we're barely hanging on. Lilia went to the kids club, which is like her favorite thing on all the cruise ships we go to, she loves it. The teen club, it's called Edge. Kais and Kate and Landon already went up to bed with my mom. So we're currently headed back up to our stateroom. We made a vow to take the stairs. Well, this is floor. You did the same I love thing. Your hair. Thank you. I love your hair. <laughs> are we on six? Yeah. Um, okay. We vowed that we were gonna take the stairs any chance that we could. My legs are burning. We've been doing a lot of stair climbing today. We're on deck seven. We have three more to go. Oh, let's see what they did in our room today. Slobber. <laughs> no. No. A squid? Squid. Oh my. <gasps> oh my god. I think they did that. Did they put Melody to yeah. bed? Are you serious? How sweet. I'll put it right here, but. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, so so cool. cool. What did they get? What'd you guys get? We got a bear and we ate our chocolate. Oh, you bear and you ate. What did you get? A bear. It's right there. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, it looks like a little polar bear. I tried to look over. Oh my god, look at the clothes down there. Look at the other clothes. <gasps> There's another cruise ship out there. 
It actually lights up below you down here. We are officially wrapping up a night one on the Disney train. I would say that's a highly successful first day on the cruise. We have another four days-ish, about four nights on here, and I cannot wait to see what's in store. So we've got everyone in bed. We're planning on waking up somewhat early tomorrow so we can see everything. Tomorrow's like a full day at sea, so we'll see what's in store. But that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.